Uh, today is September 19th. It's Monday. My name is Reed Welch. I'm 57 years old, and I certainly look my age. Um, little shaky little camera here. I'm going to try to talk for a few minutes about my most recent cop travails. I was targeted for cop abuse after my first ever arrest. November 6, 2008. I was a minor drug user and I complained about the false traffic stop in this car in South Grove. It was a setup. They stopped me without legal premise. They said I ran a stop sign, but I most certainly didn't. Not with three clown cops tailing me down a side street in Coconut Grove. Okay, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about the cop attack of August 13th, 2011. That's a little over a month ago. I live in this garage space. I just made a protest video of myself removing illegal signs from the front of Commissioner Sarnoff's home office compound from his sidewalk fence, which is public easement. I've checked the law every which way, talked to officials, the signs aren't legal. The sign ordinance isn't normally enforced, but you know what, if you don't like the guy, you don't like the signs, you can remove them. So I made the little video, I came home and I processed it. I live in this garage space, and I put the video up to YouTube, and it had just gone up about an hour after I did the shooting, and suddenly there's a shout from outside, Reed, open up! And I shout from inside, no, open up, police! And I say, no, go away. About a minute goes by, nothing happening. I'm, I've just got my hands in my lap, I'm typing on the keyboard, making sure uh, my last messages go up. Suddenly this garage door zipped open. And there I am in that chair. That's this filthy mess. This is where I live. I won't clean it up. I have reasons for that. The door is open and I look over my shoulder from that chair. And Officer Gonadalus Gonzalez, I call him now, is aiming a pistol at me. Don't move or I shoot. You committed a crime, Reed. You stole Commissioner Sarnoff's signs. You committed a crime. And I cursed him out and I said, no, I didn't. And from this chair right here, right there with the electric fan, there's where Gonzalez is with a gun trained on my head. I'm not armed. I don't have any weapons. He then proceeded in here and he looked around to see, well, you, you had a machete here one time. I said, no, I didn't. I had a big axe one time, but I don't have an axe here anymore. I don't have any weapons. Get the fuck out of here, Gonzalez. He bullied me for a couple of minutes and then he, and he said, you, you know, that's illegal what you did. I said, it is not. It's all perfectly legal, you motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. He retreated. After about five minutes, he went away, and I immediately made phone calls to various police officials and told them that if somebody invades my space without due cause, and I have a telephone, I've been asking for phone calls and for counseling, if that's the right word. And then the response was no phone call, but a cop came out here and put a gun to my head and was going to shoot me, except that I wasn't armed and I wasn't making any moves, and I had the video up and I showed him. The video was on the screen, on the floating monitor. It was in view. And I showed him it was playable. And the world was seeing it. He couldn't shoot me and he couldn't do anything to me. And he better get the fuck out. So he retreated. The next day, I was quietly here, Sunday morning. Door down again. Suddenly, up goes the door. Four pigs come in here. Crack pipe tampon tours burst in here with three buddies. A black female cop two other cops. And they said, you're coming with us, Welch. You threatened a cop. And I said, no, I'm not coming anywhere. I just sat there in that chair. And they said, you're coming with us. And they came over here. Oh, so you think you're not coming with us? Well, they grabbed me from either side. Taurus was here, grabbed me, one arm, one cop on one arm, one cop on the other, and they jerked me out of the chair. I was wearing nothing but loose pajama pants that fell down. No shirt. They wouldn't let me take my wallet, my keys. They wouldn't let me put on a shirt. They, they pulled me out here into the hot sun, cuffed me, clamped the cuffs so tightly that I then began screaming. I knew I was being kidnapped. This wasn't a Baker Act or a normal arrest. They were going to spirit me away. You're coming with us. And I said, no, I'm not. And I began screaming like the Nazi siren video you may have seen me made there, made there years ago. And then they dragged me over here, and I tried to get away from them. 
they kicked my feet out from underneath me and made me fall backwards on the pavement on my cuffed hands stood me up again I said I'm not going with you the gate was closed they had no arrest warrant they had no search warrant they couldn't drag me out through the closed gate they said now yeah, you're gonna come with us you'll come this way you'll come this way they dragged me this way and I'm screaming like a banshee and I kicked this little canopy down and they dragged me through this spot here and I'm screaming like there's Frady there's a 20 year old cat this is the uh, the broken wall that's Richard Daniels property Richard Daniels here was watching them so they dragged me right across here and I'm kicking and screaming and yelling you're coming with us and they're laughing and they dragged me right through here right through here took me out here through the Daniels property they had entered trespass through the Daniels property dragged me out to the street stood me here in the sun Taurus, I'm trying to get away from him. He's jerking the handcuffed hands behind my back to make me scream. And I'm screaming like a banshee. And he's going like, let me see if I can get this in. Going this with, with my hands, my hands are cuffed. And I'm in terrible pain. Why are you torturing me, you monsters? And I'm screaming like, help, 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 help. And, there's, and Taurus is laughing. Why are you torturing me? And he's laughing and he's chuckling. And the bitch Ellsworth is standing right there. She says, you know, Maybe you should show us a little more respect, Welch. And the black cop, I call him transgender black cop, I don't know his name. He pulled out a hunting knife, with a, like a four-inch blade, and he scrapes it on his hairless forearm. And he says, you know what? This knife is sharp enough to shave with. I tried to get away from them again. They kicked my legs out from underneath me, made me fall on this pavement. And I, then I st uh, they stood me up again. I'm bleeding. My hand is, 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 is maimed, the scarring is now healing up, but my hand was practically broken. Meanwhile, I'm screaming for help, and my callow neighbor, he doesn't even live here anymore, but he came here for that day to let the cops in. They don't even, the house is vacant right now. But there he is, there's Richard Daniels, the famous attorney, standing there with his wife. We don't get along with him very well. And I'm saying, Richard, please help me, help me, I need help. Please help me, they're beating me up, they're gonna kill me. And he just looked horrified. He watched for a couple of minutes and then he slunk away. The cops now had witnesses, so they couldn't make me disappear. So they, they consulted, what are we gonna do with him? Well, we can't take him to jail this way, or can we? No, no, he's, he's bleeding. They won't take him. Well, we can Baker Act him again. Well, we'll have to have the uh, paramedics come out. So the guys from the Oak Street Station came out within a few minutes did my blood pressure and looked at my vitals and I was more or less okay but I was looking like a wild animal again naked right here and they put me in the wagon in the red wagon they took me to Jackson to that hellhole and dumped me off again but like I say this is how the cops came and got me on the 14th of August through this guy's property I'm going back home I'm going to be making a little bicycle ride. This is the illegal footing. Daniels wants to replace the broken wall that his trees that used to be here destroyed. We won't let him do it because he's a son of a bitch. Enough of this for right now. I get upset just reliving it. It's taken a month for me to get to a point where I even can talk about it. And you, Sarnoff, you sent a pig out here on the 13th and put a gun to my head. You jerk, Sarnoff. You're done, Sarnoff.